Kamadeka Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Joined now with Eric Kamadeka, head coach of the track and field teams. And, Coach, it's been a long year. You guys have been competing since, I guess, October or uh, November with the indoor season. Let's talk about the finish of the outdoor season where Devante goes up and competes in the 200 and 100 national championships, wins the one – or finishes fifth in the 100 and third place in the 200 the highest ever finishes in both those races for him yeah you know we're really excited and happy for him um that's the way that you want to end your career going out on top like that running a 2107 a time that may never be touched in program history mm-hmm. um so you know he kind of told joked with him i was like you kind of spoiled for me man i know what else to look forward to um but you know we got a lot of young guys who see those times and you know want to push to get to that level as well and he's definitely worked very hard for that. Another athlete that's worked really hard is Danica, having a great freshman season, goes and competes in the national titles in the uh, shot put, doesn't make it through prelims, but has a huge experience at such a young age. Yeah, you know, it's really great for her to be able to experience indoor and outdoor. She kind of has a reality check now of, all right, you know, I got to the top. What do I need to do next? And so I think she's going to use that motivation and hopefully, you know, her teammates with that large group of women throwers Mm -hmm. will really push each other going into next year. And the motivation will resound through the rest of the team as two athletes were able to make it to the Nationals in both indoor and outdoor. I'm sure this is going to have resounding effects throughout the team. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we had a lot of kids who were really close this year to getting out there as well. You know, the four-by-one team missed it by two or three spots. Matt Riggins missed it by one or a couple spots there. Um, We had a lot of women who were really close. You know, the team is right there. We're on the Mm -hmm. cusp of really breaking through. Um, but Danica and Devonte, especially Devonte, has done a really great job putting Stevens University track and field on the map. People know who we are, uh, so it's really exciting. And, you know, I think that helps a little bit with the recruiting as well. Get keeps up with the motivation. You know, we finished 27th as a team on the men's side this year. You know, and being in that top 25 is really important to us. Absolutely, you guys were there all season long. You guys worked all season long, and it was a long season. It's going to be a short summer for you, I'm sure. But what is the you know, the goal for the short summer that you will have as you guys head into the fall and the recruiting season you have? You know, a big thing for the coaching staff is getting out there and recruiting. We're heading out to New Balance Nationals in a couple of weeks, so that will be a big prime area for us. Seeing a lot of kids who are already coming into the program, which is a great sign of our growth when you have kids competing at the highest level at the high school. Um, And then for our returners, you know, the summer workouts will be starting in the next week or two, and it's really important for them to get motivated and continue to train throughout the summer. Well, Coach, it's been an impressive season, and thank you for all the time that you've spent with us and letting me travel with you. It's been a lot of fun, and I wish you the best of luck and safe travels this summer. Thank you very much. He's Eric Kamadeka. I'm Joe Wamba. This has been the Eric Kamadeka Show.